Roller toward third base. He'll go to second and safe there. They're calling it a fair ball. Oh my goodness, and Cabrera never left the batter's box. And here comes Brad Osmus. Kinsler was safe at second, but Cabrera is called out at first base. He never left the batter's box. Miggy saying that ball hit his foot. That ball clearly went off Miguel's shin. Out. They're calling him out. Oh my goodness. Uh, Brad might lose it on this. Well, he's got to get there. Maybe oh, he's going to get kicked out of the game. Miggy's going to lose it too. Oh, and I don't blame the big fella. Well, somebody's got to go get Miggy. Oh, that's just not right. That is just not right. But apparently nobody had a clear look at that and Cabrera is really upset. The crew chief is Mike Everett, the third base umpire. And now yeah, there he goes. Cabrera's been ejected from the game and you knew this was about to happen. Well, Miggy was kicked out by the first base umpire. Yeah, that's Tim Timmons. So Brad could not get out there and save Cabrera. He's been ejected and I, I just can't blame Miggy. He is just upset. Indians here's the one two strike call and Cabrera says come on now and he's been thrown out of the game Vic Carapaza has just given Cabrera the heave ho Cabby must have said the magic words because that was really quick and now Leland's coming out to get between them and that's probably the first thing he's going to ask did he say something or what did he say Cabrera was very demonstrative. You know, he's might have had a beef, but uh, Carapazza's had a, a real big strike zone all day. He did not ask for the appeal. The home plate umpire does not have to give you an appeal. And now Cabrera's getting the face of Tim Timmons, and off comes the mask. Don't get kicked out, Megan. Uh, oh, no. Come on. That was quick. Uh, and now we're going to see Brad Osmus like we've never seen him before. And he's out of the ball game. Oh, Osmus going off for the first time this year. And he is going to let Timmons know what he thinks. Cabrera has been kicked out of the game. And that's just dandy. The best hitter in the game now is done for the day, and it's 7 7. I don't know what uh, Miggy said to Tim Timmons, but the trigger was awfully quick. Check this one out. That's all right. We can watch Tim Timmons for the rest of this one, though. Yeah, it looked like he went. He did. Well, Miggy didn't appreciate that last call, and uh, very wisely, Brad Ausmus goes out to get him before he got tossed. That's a nice job also by Victor Martinez and also J.D. Martinez making sure that Miggy got back to the dugout, but the third base umpire has now thrown Miguel out of the game. And there goes Miggy down to third. That is Gary Cedarstrom down in the third base. Gary Cedarstrom, he is the crew chief. Quinn Walcott, the home plate umpire who Miggy was beefing with, did not throw him out. But the third base umpire decided to throw him out. Miguel going to plead his case. Brad Ausmus coming down there as well, but this is to no avail to the Tiger. Now the 0 1. Hit him. Got him on the back foot, it appeared. Calling the swing. Yeah, they're calling it a swing, yeah. That's what home plate umpire Brian Gorman indicated. Cabrera wanted uh, an appeal. Foul that one back out of play. No balls, two strikes on Miguel Cabrera. He threw him out of the game. Oh, Come on. For goodness sakes. Brian Gorman. Oh, this is terrible. Really? This is terrible. Goodness gracious. 
That is ridiculous. Best player in the game, headed to the clubhouse. Second time this year, Miguel Cabrera has been thrown out of a game in the middle of an at-bat. Well, unless Cabrera said something extremely vulgar to Gorman, which I guess is always a possibility. you got to be kidding The umpire can then throw you out, but, I mean, there was... This is as animated as we've seen Cabrera all season long. That's brutal. I mean, brutal. Jim Leland is beside himself right now, and uh, he is so upset so he really can't we. even argue. But he'll get heated up here in a minute. Jim's going to get tossed too. Cabrera was actually super animated about, hey, you have to protect your teammates when Michael Fulmer retaliated. Wait for a minute, him. here we go. Oh, here we go at home. Robine and Cabrera get into it. Punches thrown. Robine getting into the gut of Cabrera. And now both benches are cleared as Robine and Cabrera at the bottom of a pile. And both teams storming for them at home plate. Clint Frazier is holding back. Gary Sanchez trying to get in on it. And Cabrera is still down. This is not your ordinary best. So there was some severe punching in there. Usually it's a lot of pushing and shoving. But some, they got some good shots here. Just as we were talking about how it was Cabrera who instructed and applauded Fulmer for retaliating, hitting Ellsbury at Yankee Stadium. He's the one who canely threw out here, and he and Romine got into it and fired off quite a few punches at each other before both benches cleared entirely. You know, I don't know if this umpiring crew was aware of what happened in New York. But I think Joe Girardi was very correct when he said, why did you throw out warnings after? Cabrera saying something to Romine. And then Romine going back at him. He'd had enough. And there goes the shove. And then Cabrera missed. Romine tackled him and got into the gut of Cabrera and fired off a couple punches. He saw Didi get pushed to the bottom of the pile. Judge was trying to get in there and then go get sloppy at home plate. Oh, nice underneath move there. Bam. Oh, he got one in. I think he got two. And then kept Chapman, Cabrera and Romine getting into it. No one really paying attention to them. And then all of a sudden, it's on. And Chapman and, and Didi go darting in. His bodies fly everywhere. You saw Robbie Thompson get in there trying to keep people away. And there's Chapman. He's trying to keep, he's trying to play peacekeeper. You saw Clint Frazier actually hug Gary Sanchez and pull him away uh -huh. from the pile. Larry Rothschild took a tumble. 